If you're looking to buy a budget gaming headset, then you're at the right place. In this video, we will take a look at what I think are the best budget gaming headsets of 2021, and I will give you a few different options depending on what the headset is going to be used for. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these headsets, you can check out the links in the description below. At number 5, we have the Corsair HS35, which is best for most people. First up, we have a Corsair product, which is a Corsair HS35, and it's extremely good, especially for its low price. It's only a stereo headset, so there's no fancy surround sound, but you can't really ask for more from this extremely low price point. A fully cross-platform though, so you can use it on PC consoles and even your phone or tablet. Its large 50mm drivers deliver an expensive soundstage. Its flexible boom mic also delivers great sound quality and it's Discord certified too. That all said, the audio balance of this HS35 is only so-so do and the bass can be a little too heavy for my taste. There's some give and take, but you won't find a cheaper quality gaming headset than this. If you want great listening experience during your long gaming sessions for a reasonable price, go and check the Corsair HS35. The Corsair HS35 is a good looking headset to start. I love the subtle mix of matte and high shine gloss finishes and the simple metallic Corsair logos on each ear cup. No expense has been spared at the contact pads, which has luxurious feeling memory foam padding that will keep you going for hours at a time. Plus, the control layout's perfect. Definitely one of the best when it comes to budget gaming headsets. At number four, we have the Razer Kraken X, which is the best lightweight headset. Razer has done a pretty good job when it comes to gaming sets lately. This gaming headset offers amazing sound quality, feels very comfortable, and it is one of the lightest gaming headsets. And you might even forget that you have a headset on. It has a very nice looking design, solid build quality, and has many other great features that any gamer would love. Design-wise, this one looks pretty cool. It has nice large and circular ear cups that look great. However, they may cause a little bit of temperature during long gaming sessions, Anyway, they still feel great and provide amazing gaming experiences. The headset is not very portable since the cups are a bit large, but they are very lightweight which means that you can put them in your backpack. Furthermore, this headset has a nice 7.1 surround sound for accurate positional audio across any game. Plus, the cardioid pickup pattern and the mic records the sound from a tighter angle. The microphone can also reduce background and ambient noises for better communication. The Razer Kraken X also is a very flexible headset and it is built to last. To conclude, I would say that the Razer Kraken X is one of the best lightweight gaming headsets available on the market. Make sure to check it out. At number 3 we have the Turtle Beach Recon 70, which is the most versatile. The most versatile budget gaming headset in our list is the Turtle Beach Recon 70. This is a cheap pair of hardware coming with a great design, amazing comfort levels, compatibility with a wide range of devices and a promising gaming performance. Without further ado, let's take a look. The comfort levels were amazingly good thanks to the over-ear design of the ear cups, the great padding on them, their leatherette covering and thick padding on the headband. You can easily wear these for long periods of time. Also, it is worth stating that they are very breathable. The gaming performance of this headset is excellent as it came through triumphant of every challenge thrown at it. The sound effects were perfect and you will notice every little detail about them. And it was a little sharper than I thought it would be, but overall the directional sound Effect scores and dialogues were great for gaming. The soundscape was good enough and it could get pretty loud when needed. However, the bass was a little muddy at times, but the highs and mids were clear enough to deliver a pleasing listening experience. For their price, you cannot find anything better than the Turtle Beach Recon 70. At number 2 we have the SteelSeries Arctis 1, which is the best for sound clarity. Moving on, we have the SteelSeries Arctis 1. The headset features a black plastic chassis with foam ear cups. That's all fine, although plain describes it better than elegant. While the headset connects via a single 3.5mm audio jack, the device also comes with an audio mic splitter for gaming PCs. The cable is almost comically long, so you'll have to figure out a way to shorten it depending on how close you sit to, to your PC. But better too long than too short, right? The Arctis 1 performed admirably for everyday gaming. 
I could hear directional sound while gunning down enemies as rays in Valorant. As the Arctis One is a 3.5mm headset, one of the biggest advantages is that you can use it with just about any system you own. What usually sinks cheap gaming headset is that they're almost useless for listening to music. That's thankfully not the case with the Arctis One. While it's not going to give you a concert hall experience, this headset lets you hear every part of the music you're listening to. From bass parts to rhythmic instrumentals to clear vocals. The SteelSeries Arctis One Wireless is the kind of product that doesn't come around very often. Definitely one of the best budget gaming headsets in the market. And number one, we have the Razer Black Shark V2X, which is best overall. As our top pick, we have the Black Shark V2X. The Razer Black Shark V2X has a more subtle low key design. It fits right in with current gaming headsets, cast in black matte plastic. There's no RGB, and even the Razer logo is in a slightly offset black. The idea is treble, mid, and bass should sound more distinct, leading to more audio clarity and a richer experience. Dropping into some music, I could definitely feel the lower thumbs of the bass, but there was a little muffling on the high end out of the box. The Black Shark V2X comes with a single 3.5mm plug, meaning you can use it with most modern devices outside of your gaming PC, including the PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch and mobile phones. Virtual 7.1 surround sound is limited to Windows 10. You'll need some sort of USB connection in order to use the Razer Synopsy software or 7.1 surround sound app, which doesn't come in the box. The microphone on the Black Shark V2X is Razer's HyperClear Cardioid. Its cardioid nature means it does its best to only pick up sound in front of the mic. It's hard to tell where that front is with the pop filter, but overall I found the mic picked up my lower voice pretty well. The Razer's Black Shark V2X is an excellent way. Try out successful new drivers from a reputable gaming brand, as well as virtual 7.1 surround without spending a lot. As per the buying guide, we go for the build quality. As you may know, most gaming headsets are made of plastic, and it is important to find a headset that feels sturdy. I would recommend you to look for headsets that have a metal or wire frame. Plastic can often creak very loudly when it's pushed a little bit. You should also know that some headsets use an all metal skeleton, and I must say that they are the most durable. Number two is comfort. One of the most important features that you should look for in a gaming headset is comfort. However, you will only realize this feature after using the headset for a prolonged period. This means that you cannot just wear a headset once and see if it is comfortable enough. Anyway, there are plenty of comfortable gaming headsets in the market right now that you can wear them on for extended hours without getting fatigued. Number three is audio quality. If you are playing competitive games where you need to know where the sound is coming from, get a gaming headset that has surround sound. However, if you play games where you don't need to know those exact small details, you should get a gaming headset with a standard sound system. Noise cancellation is important so that you won't hear sounds that are not in your game. Headsets that go over your ears have a better chance of cancelling out sounds that will distract you from your game. Last but not least is compatibility. This is mostly a common sense thing. You obviously want to buy a headset that actually works with the system that you plan to use it for. Headsets come in a variety of designs and styles, and some are only compatible with specific systems. It's easy enough to tell whether or not a headset will work with your system. The packaging will always have a label that says what it's compatible with. And before you invest your hard-earned money, make sure to look for its compatibility label. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions about the products mentioned in this video, you can leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.